Dude, so I beat Guitar Hero 3 for PS2. And yes, I'm magic. That's why there's another video already. No, I, honestly, I am magic, but it's not because of that. It's because this game is pretty short. Honestly, nowadays, everyone knows what Guitar Hero is. It's a pretty popular game. It's been popular for quite some time. So I don't think there's a lot of explanation that needs to go on here. Sometimes I like to go in and do like the story. But honestly, the story for this game is just you follow some band members who they accept you into their group and you slowly gain notoriety until you fight the devil himself. And then at the very end of the game, you're during the credits, I'm not going to show you how badly I played through Fire and Flames because it's been quite a while and it sucks. But honestly, it's a short, short game and I don't want to waste everyone's time with a long video because, well, I beat it. It was simple. And again, I do recommend this game because it is super fun, but it's short. But let me go over a couple things first. The set list for the game, pretty nice. It's a very nice set list with lots of cool songs, recognizable songs. They even have a bonus set list. And if you get the game on the 360 or the PS3, the later systems, you could at one point download load songs for it. I don't think you can get those songs anymore, which sucks, but that's okay. There's still a pretty good solid set list for the game if you buy it just base. The guitar controllers aren't too expensive, so mostly anyone can sit down and play it. And honestly, this game is really fun to play with your friends, to just mess around with, because I mean, come on, it's a very simple game. Just think about how simple this is. Some notes fly at you, you press the corresponding button, and you play it to your favorite songs, if you have some of your favorite songs on here. If none of these songs are your favorite, they're still interesting, I suppose. I mean, you know, you give it a shot. There's a a lot of different Guitar Hero games for the PS2. 1, 2, 3, Aerosmith, Rock the 80s, Metallica? I'm not sure if that one's on here, but there are a lot of them. So you can dip your toes into whatever game you want to play with any controller you can get your hands on for the PS2, and you'll be able to play all of them. So it'll be, you know, a small investment for something that's pretty fun. It is, though, at this point for me, not something I'd play too much more. I played it so much when I was younger. I, I don't know what to say. I just memorized a lot of the songs. I got five stars and everything on Expert. I, it's fun, but I wouldn't play it too much more again. I'll beat all of them very quickly and move on. But this game does have a nice progression. I found it interesting that they were able to choose songs with styles and different amounts of varying like difficulty and solos and then put together a difficult track to keep up with. And they even made some of them have similar themes in a track. So some of them do a lot of double and triple notes. Some of them do a lot of solos. Some of them do a lot of fast sections. Obviously, the very first one is nice and easy, kind of getting you used to how the game works no matter what difficulty you play on so it's a really good experience but it's just short and for a series where i'm beating games quickly i gotta beat this quickly so guitar hero 3 is game number eight beat and don't worry the other guitar heroes are coming up soon once i get a hold of them all of my discs are very scratched so maybe the local shop will buff them for me and they'll still work who knows regardless thank you very much for watching this is a short video and i didn't want to waste anyone's time so at the end of the video here let me tell you quickly that i will be playing for the next game, Conflict Vietnam, a game that someone has asked on my channel a couple times for, and I said yes, so I bought it. So I'm going to be playing that, and I'll be there doing that for the next video. And the next video after that, I had to, just because of how much of a hype it is, but I also was pretty hyped up for it, that Silent Hill 2 Remake just made me want to play Silent Hill 2. So I will be playing Silent Hill 2 for the next game, after Conflict Vietnam. So that'll be great. And maybe after that, I'll even play a Resident Evil game. Someone actually just commented and asked for a Resident Evil game. And this is a good time to do it. I guess it's spooky time, right? It's October. I mean, by the time that's around, it'll be over. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyone else who has some suggestions, you may go at, right ahead and do it. But I've got to own the game so that I can, you know, play it. I've got a lot of games, so don't worry. But thank you all for watching. This is a short one. I'll see you next time.